My name is Anders Jensen, the Sørensen UiPath. Today we will see how we can extract data from one or more PDFs in UiPath. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all the new videos about UiPath and RPA. So let's get started. I have a folder here on my desktop with uh, PDFs in. Let's try to open it. Those ones are invoices A, B and C. And we will create a solution that can read uh, the data from this invoice actually all the invoices automatically. We will do uh, create a solution where we don't have to open a PDF to read it. And we'll do that uh, for several reasons. One of them is stability. We don't have to work in the UI. We can just do it automatically. Uh, the second is that uh, sometimes we can create a reliable selector. We can't really find the information. Uh, so we'll create an automatic solution that will just use regex and drag out the data automatically. Let's see how that is done. We can see here we have the invoice. We have name, we have invoice number, we have dates, we have a total, and yeah, a lot of all other information. We'll show, we'll create an example where we will drag some of the data out, and you can easily just drag everything out if you want that. But let's close it. First, we will go to UiPath, then we will click Manage Packages, click All Packages here. And then we'll search for PDF activities. Then we'll click install and then we'll click save. Then we'll wait a bit. We are downloading dependencies. And now we're done. We will just try to read the PDF first to get a grip of what format the data is in. So we will uh, Drag in a sequence first and do these operations with me. You will learn a lot from that. Let me rename it to main. Then we will drag in an inner sequence here. This one could be called read PDF. This one will read a single PDF file. We will create a solution that, cre that can read a single PDF file first and then we will create a loop that can read all invoices in the folder. So here we will find a read PDF text here, drag this guy in. The file name, well, that's just this invoice A. We'll just hard code it in for now. And we will choose the place, which is here. Then we will output it to a string. So go over here in output, control K, str, PDF, like this. So now we created a string with all the PDF text in. We could take a look at the data. So find a right line just write out the data like this so now we are writing we're reading the PDF and we're writing it out so let's try to run it here we can go to output and we can see the invoice is now written out let's try to export it to our desktop we will output uh, can create the output and we can see that we this is the data what the data looks like let's say uh, mark all this, copy it, then we will go to a browser. This is a regex editor. If you are not familiar with regex, I'll recommend you to watch my guide. I'll leave that in the description below. There's a link to it. And what this is, is that we can drag out certain elements from a text with some easy code. So we will copy, paste our text in here. And then we will uh, try to drag some of the data out. Say that we first, let me delete this code up here. So we want to uh, create a regex code that looks uh, after this and, or oh, actually uh, after this and before, or actually before this and after this. So what we'll do is that we will go up here and we will say that we want to look behind um, something. And this one will be the invoice number. So invoice, we'll just write this out. Then we'll have a white space here. And then we will say number like this. And then we'll have a, another white space like this. And the parentheses end. So now we will look after uh, behind this. And then we will choose to uh, have a um, random character. And then we'll choose any number of characters. And we'll have a lazy lookup, and then we will say uh, again. This one is going a little bit fast. I created this uh, 
before, but so we don't waste time on this because I already created a regex guide. And if you're familiar with regex, you'll definitely know this. So this one will drag out the invoice number. And what we'll do is that we'll just uh, copy paste this one here, this regex code. We will go to UI path. Then we will find a matches, drag the matches in. And what we'll do here is that the input, that's just the strpf, that's the, our text. The pattern, we will hard code in as well, so quotation marks and paste in the regex code here. And we will output it to i in uh, i enumerable, that'll only be one object in it, so control k, i enumerable, match. We can write out this match here. So let's just first write it out before we save it to Excel or something. So what we'll do here is that we'll say i enumerable match. Then we'll say the first element that's zero index, so that's zero. Then we'll say value. So now we uh, take a look at the invoice, invoice A, without opening it. And we will drag out the invoice number. So let's try to run the file. And we can go down to output and we can see that we uh, indeed have written out the invoice number. So far, so good. Then we can create a case where we want to extract several things out from the invoice. Say that we want to extract. So we have got the invoice number now. We might want to extract the date and the, the total due. So let's see how that is done. What we'll do first is that we will build some data tables. So we will, uh, let's find a build a data table. We will create a data data table with our data in, and then we will create a, an output data table. So two data table. The first one was the one with our data. So we can call this control K, DT data like this, and then we can click in here. Let's delete everything that's already in it. And we will create a new one. So we will have three column names. The first one is field, that will be invoice number, due date, and total, like this. Then we'll create another one, we can call this regex, that's the regex pattern that we already got from the invoice number here. And then we can have a value, that's the value that we are dragging out. Then we can uh, say that the first one is invoice number, like this, and then the, afterwards it's due date, due date, like this. And finally, it's total. So uh, let's uh, paste in the um, regex pattern for the invoice. We still have that in our clipboard, and then click OK. We need to find out the we need to find it, the regex for due date and total as well. So let's go to our uh, regex uh, pattern guide, and then we want to drag out the date. So let's take the uh, due date here. So what we'll do is that we can just sorry do here and then we'll say date like this and we can see that we only got January we want the whole thing with us so what we'll do is that we can uh, drag in a white space here and this one will get us everything because this is the code for uh, the date we can see that we get the due date out of the invoice so let's copy this one. Let's paste it in our data table here, like this. And then we just need the total. Let's click OK. We will go to our browser. And what we'll do is that we can, um, so instead of, uh, so that is, uh, we'll take this total due. We can say total. Then we can say due. And we can choose not to have our dollar sign with us because might, we might want to calculate on it. So we're just we'll have these curly brackets, then we'll have a dollar sign and curly bracket end like this. So now how, that's how we can get the dollar out. So we're, we'll copy it back to our, our data table here. So now we got all three data uh, regex patterns, right? Then we can create our output data table. So we can call this control K DT output like this. What do we want in it? Well, we can start by deleting all this. And we'll just have three columns. We'll have the invoice number, due date, and total. 
So our invoice number. Due date and it was total. Like this. Invoice number, due date, total. We'll just inspect that it's the same order up here. Um, invoice, due date, total. So far, so good. So now we created two data tables. Then we can uh, loop through each of these rows. So first we'll find invoice number, the due date, and the total. So what we'll do is that we will um, have a for each row. Drag this guy in and we'll uh, have it in here. We will loop through uh, each row of our data table up here. So uh, DT data, like this. We'll delete this body and then we will drag in our matches. So drag this guy in here and we will loop. So what we'll do is that we'll, the input is still the same, but the pattern that changes where the row we are in. So what we'll do is that we'll let us delete this and we'll say row item regex. So this one will give us the Q and regex for the Q and row. And then to string, so like this. And then we want to assign the values that we get from this matches, these matches to the corresponding uh, rows here in this column. So let's find an assign, drag this assign in, and we want to assign it to row item. And we want to say, is it value we call that column, right? Was it name? Oh, sorry. It was value. So we assign it to the value column. What do we want to assign? We'll just assign the same thing as we got down here. Like this. Then we want to, now we got the data table with values like here, here and here from invoice A. And we want to assign that to our output data table. So we will find a add data row like this. Drag it in outside the for each. Where do we want to assign it? We want to assign it to the DT output. And click up here in array row, click the three dots, and we can assign it an array. So what we'll do is that we'll create an array. We will take the first one, that's the DT uh, data, then rows, and the rows, that's just the first row first, so that's zero. And then we will say, item and that's the value column like this to string so this one is the first row that was the uh, was the invoice number then we'll have the due date and the total so what we'll do is that we'll just copy this let me uh, find a comma paste paste it in three times and what we'll do is that we'll have the first one as zero It's one and it's two. So now we added in a data rule. We can delete this right line and we can write out the data to an Excel sheet. So let's, uh, let's first create an Excel sheet. Let's go out here. We can close this one down as well. Go out here, right click, click new. New Microsoft Excel worksheet. We can call this, we can rename it to invoice. We could also click this uh, Notepad uh, again. We could um, now we could add data to this. We can open it while we drag in a right range. So we can drag this right range in here underneath the add data row. So where do we want to? Uh, we want to uh, have the workbook path. We'll just hard code it again. That's fine for now. And that's the invoice here. Let me delete this. Let me close it down like this. And we'll choose the invoice. The data table, that will be the DT output, right? We will um, delete this and then we can uh, choose to add headers. So we'll get headers and we can try to see it. This one will just take invoice A, but we can easily, after this, we can easily have a, uh, a loop that takes everything. Now we can open up invoice and what you'll see is that we'll get our fine data for invoice A nicely in our Excel data table. Excel table here. So we've got invoice number, the due date, and the total. Now we can uh, create a, a loop. So we want to uh, have a, a loop for each um, invoice, and we can easily do that. First thing is that we will drag out uh, the data tables, and we will um, drag these data tables out here. 
and we will also drag this right range out just do it like this now we can see that uh, we are having a problem with the scope of it so let's go in here as well and click variables and the dt data and the dt output change the scope to main like this then we will have a for each so uh, let's find a for each here drag this guy in here so that will be the for each you can say file and then we will say for each file in then we'll get the file names in the invoice directory the pdf directory so that's directory then we'll say get files and then we will have our path where our folder is this this one we can just hard code it in for now as well but uh, you might want to create variables so shift right click copy as path and we will paste in the path here like this then what we can do now is that we can uh, this uh, read pdf we can just drag it in here and we'll just need to change one thing so instead of uh, reading uh, several uh, certain pdf text we'll just read this uh, file name from up here so we'll just say file like this and what we can do here is that we can see that we, we need to change it to a string so what we'll do here up here in this for each we will change this to a string and now it's sorted so that's it now we uh, will write every um, invoice uh, details out to our excel sheet let's try to run the workflow so that will be a b and c that we're now writing out by the way, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. That will really help me a lot. So now we open invoice and we can see in a minute, in a second, that we actually true. Now we are dragged out the invoice numbers for the three invoices, the dates and the total. We could easily have gotten all the other details out and we build this um, workflow in a way so we don't work in the ui we work uh, with regex and we work uh, with the files so that's a more stable solution it's a faster solution of course it takes a little bit of time to code it but now you've seen the video go try it yourself so if you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all the new videos about uipath and rpa have a good day bye bye